Hey there! Welcome back to our channel. Today, we've got an awesome tutorial for you. We'll show you how to configure the FiberSense's APU with the Fiber Commander monitoring software. And guess what? We've also uploaded a separate video on calibrating the APU for intrusion detection near to the perimeter fence. Link in the description. Please look into that before you proceed with this video. Without any further ado, let's start the video. After the calibration, the user needs to connect the alarm processing unit to the network switch, using a network cable, in order to establish communication with the software. Once you have made the physical connection between the unit and the system, let's proceed to finding the device on the network. To do this, you need to install the utility software from FiberSenses. This software should be provided to you with the unit. If you can't find it, you can obtain it from us. Once you have the utility tool, Lintronics. Install it by double-clicking on its installer file. Then, select the language, and click on Install. It will take a while to extract the files, and the welcome screen will appear. Click on Next, then select the installation folder, and click Next again. Finally, click on Install to start the installation process. Wait until the installation is completed, then click on Close to finish the process. Next, go to the Start menu, and run the tool. Upon the first time running, a warning will appear stating that no serial ports were found on your PC. You can also use a serial cable to configure the IP address of the APU. But in this case, we will configure it using the APU's Ethernet port. Close this window by clicking on Close. On the left menu, you will find the IP address for your computer, and you can see that no devices have been found yet. To find the device on the network, click on Search, and wait for some time. It will automatically detect the device on the network, if your physical connectivity is perfect. As you can see on my screen, I have found one device on the network. Now, select the detected device, and you will find its current configuration. To change the IP address of the device, expand the folder by clicking on the plus symbol, and select the IP address. Then, click on the Assign option from the top menu. The IP address assignment wizard will open. Select the option as DHCP or Stardic. In this case, I will select Stardic. Click on Next and change the IP address, subnet mask, and default gateway according to your requirements. Then, click on Next, and finally click on Assign to complete the IP address assignment. It will take some time to complete the process. Once the IP address has changed, you will see the changes in the left side menu. Now, the device is online, as you can see on my screen. Let's close this tool and open any web browser for further configuration of the APU. Type the IP address of the APU in the browser. By default, there is no username and password set for the APU. Just click on Sign In to enter into the web configuration of the APU. Here, the user needs to change the active connection to Auto Start and enable the Auto Increment checkbox for the active connection. Then, type the IP address of the computer where you want to run the Fiber Command software. Once you're done, click on Apply Settings. Once the settings have been applied, close the configuration window. Now, we should install the Fiber Commander monitoring software. This software will also be provided with the unit, or you can obtain it from us. Insert the Fiber Commander CD, and browse the CD to manually install the software by clicking on the setup.exe file. Once the installation is completed, 
Log into the software from the file menu. The default username is admin. And password also admin. After logging in, navigate to the options and click on configuration. The configuration wizard will appear. Navigate to TCP IP options and click on the Enable APU Server checkbox. Once you enable the server, the APU devices on the network will appear on the screen. As you can see here, I have two panels installed, the front panel and the back panel. They will be automatically added to the software. You can go to the General tab and select the operations you want to monitor in the software. Once you're done, close this window. Here, you can also add maps and perform other configurations. However, our main agenda is to integrate Fiber Senses into the Gentech Security Center, so I won't delve deeper into Fiber Commander topics in this video. If you want me to cover more topics on Fiber Commander, please let me know in the comments. Also, if you need support with your ongoing project configuration, please feel free to contact us. I hope you've understood the complete video. In the next video, we will start the APU integration with the Gentech Security Center. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more updates.